Welcome back. Spring is not only a great time to clean your homes and cluttered garages, but it's the perfect time to clean your mind too. Here with some important advice and guidance is Dr. Gail Saltz. Dr. Saltz. It's always great to have great you here. You. I always say you are the most important guest we can Thank ever you. have on this show. Why is spring a good time to clean our minds? Spring is the season of renewal, right? Mm. All the religious holidays, everything's about renewal. And there's something called the fresh start effect, okay. which is basically times of the year where we naturally feel like we are ready to assess and make a change. New Year's Day, our birthdays, and spring is one of those times. So it lends itself to the feeling of assessing, where am I now, do I like it, or do I want to make a change? Okay, so what are the steps that we need to utilize to, to clean, clean our minds? Yeah. Clean, little, clean little, little, little the little cleaning mind. of the mind. Yeah. Stress is one of the biggest mind clutterers, but stress unlike what most people think, is stressors, things that stress you out, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Divided by stress relievers, that's what actually equals stress. Sometimes we can't get rid of stressors, right? You have to work, you have to, you have yeah. things going on, you can't stop them, but you can increase stress relievers, increase the denominator. So, aerobic exercise for 30 minutes. Big one. Um, paced deep breathing as a practice for five minutes, mm -hmm. um, progressive muscle relaxation, taking a warm bath, adding things into your day that relieve stress will diminish your stress, which diminishes clutter. How about good sleep? So important, so important. Why? Sleep is when we lay down memory. We lay down what we learn during the day, which hmm. otherwise takes up a lot of space trying to hold on to it. So how do you improve your sleep? Sleep hygiene, cooler darker, quieter, turn your clock around, go to bed the same time every day. Put the phone away. Put the phone away. Yeah. No by blue away, light. do you mean, <laughs> by away, do you mean holding it in his hand with the screen on oh. because he's fallen asleep watching an Instagram video? <laughs> that, oh, that on so many levels. Mm -hmm. Tsk, tsk, we say no, 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 Mark. Okay. We will right. fix that. Um, Next, yes, mind dump to a journal. Hmm. Use Get it out of your head. A journal to write she down worries mm -hmm. so they don't percolate around, mood so you offload that, and even things that you might forget that you uh. keep in your mind, cluttering your mind all the time. I have to remember, I have to remember, write it down. He always says, he's like, well, how do you remember that? You remember everything. And I'm and I always remind him, I journal. I'm not a s I'm not a psychic. I just can go back in and real look, time and it look. really keeps the clutter out of your mind. And this is a big one. Little decisions we make all day really clutter our mind. You don't even realize the little ones. So make a choice reduction plan. Mm. That means have like five outfits I wear to work. It's only these five. Ah. I have exactly, you don't have to, what am I gonna do? What's it gonna be? What's it? Yes. I'll have breakfast. What, what, am I gonna, what am I gonna have? What am I gonna have for meals? Plan them. Simplify Say, it. Basically, yeah. it's eggs, it's toast, it's cereal. That's we it. We do that. Yep. We do that with meals. We like pre-plan Reducing the number yeah. of choices, the little choices all day, really relieves you and definitely declutters the mind. This is okay. great. We have to take a break right now, but more with Dr. Gail Saltz when we come back. Decluttering. We are back with Dr. Gail Saltz, who's here to teach us how to clean our minds. What else can we do? We can make a can control list. Yes. Half of the time, what's in your mind is thinking, worrying, obsessing over something. So take a piece of paper, draw two lines, which I did right here. Okay. And then in the first category is I can take a problem that you're uh -huh. obsessing about it. What can I control? Okay. Actually control about this problem. What I might be able to influence and what I am not gonna have control over on which this problem. Which could lead to acceptance and that's also Well, really that important. is true, good yeah. for you. But ding, what ding, happens ding. if but you think you can control things that are You are in not gonna pay attention to these two lists. <laughs> yeah, but I am always over You're here. You're always in, in here. Zone. Yeah, but that's, no, no, I'm that's nowhere to be. No that's control. nowhere to be. Yeah. Trying to control you can't, that so zone. that is what this yeah. is gonna help you with because you're obsessing and you convince yourself, maybe I can, and that positively reinforces the obsessing. So go with only, write it down, <laughs> write it down, Kelly, only what's in the can control list. If you try this. Dr. Gail, I'm gonna try, down. but I'm not promising you anything. It will cut down. <laughs> it will cut down on your, on your, it will. <laughs> okay, if that doesn't work for you, Kelly, talk to someone. Talk to a family I member. Talk to you. I talk to you. I got I <laughs> Or if need be a therapist, and I'll talk to you okay, later. Okay, all right. Okay. But about, about how you're feeling about that, about your worries, about things that are on your mind, because it does help relieve it. 
and lastly, but also very important, is a sort of digital cleanse. The kind of digital, because right, you're looking at 50 million things. Many of them make you feel lousy. So remove the people from your Instagram, from your Twitter, that you feel stoke envy, stoke frustration, stoke anger. Those things clutter your mind. Mm. Filter out who you're following, and in my opinion, pick one lane. All these different places you look, they're very distracting. That's full of clutter for you. So if you, if you must be on social media, pick Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or mm. TikTok. Not all four. All four of them. Your mind is divided at all times. It's almost impossible to not be cluttered. Mm. It's great this advice. great advice. Um, Dr. Gail Saltz, like I said, you're always the most important guest we have yeah. here. Really for more topics it. like this, um, and you can also listen to your podcast, How Can I Help, on iHeartRadio. We'll be right back.